what's up guys murph here back on the ranch uh okay i finally did it i went to google and i looked up some stuff on the cooking uh, but before that let's go check on all our animals do our our daily morning stuff here all right all the chickens look good Plenty of food. Not really plenty of food. Oh, jeez. Alright. Guess we're getting some water. So, I also have a little issue. And I don't think I can really complain about it, but I'm just kind of confused. Oh, uh, I forgot how shitty this well is. Luckily, you don't have to do this too often. I'm just going to give them at least a bucket each uh, for now. Make sure they don't die of thirst over here there you go baby go ahead take a drink how's this one doing over here all right that one's fine food's fine how you guys looking over here nothing i just collected you last night any poop grab that okay all right i don't think nothing's really going on with the chickies there's an egg. Or, oh, there's a few eggs. Leave them in there for now. Oh, okay. So we got a few if we need them. And we might. Uh, what else? Let's go check our cows. I think two of them are milkable now. I didn't try this one yesterday, but I think she's big enough to get milked. This one, right? Or is that my original? No. That's my original over there. So let's see, you got something for me, baby? So I've been closing that gate every time I do this, and now I found out it's not really necessary. All right, she is getting milk. So now we're getting, all right, that's full. That's weird, I thought, hmm. Oh, it must be because the buckets don't take exactly seven. The buckets take five, keep that in mind, that's gonna makes sense a little later all right where's the other one come here you oh that's great that i don't have to close the door that just makes me think i don't even know if i needed this stall in the in the first place but i don't know it's kind of cool i'm not mad about it all right so you're full let's bring you with us and we'll go check on our piggies, who had a new litter, by the way. So we've got original Mama and Papa. Those two big guys. Then we got three medium guys. That one, this one, and this one. And now we got four little babies. This one, this one, this one, and this one. So that's good that the numbers are changing. It's going to help me distinguish them when they're kind of relatively close uh, to the same size and then we'll have to do what we do I forgot to check their food and water food is always okay it's just the water now this water should always be okay also because I finished the windmill alright so water and food is good here as it always should be because I found out something else I wish I knew. If you go over to this granary, I mean, I wish I knew. It says it right there. I just never... Excuse oh. me. I never read. Uh, we should fill that up, too, shouldn't we? Okay. Um, toggle area visibility. So you go like this, and you can see how far... And that's such a great feature. Um, that that granary covers now it doesn't reach these which is fair and i was like okay i guess i'll have to manually fill them but when i built them it filled them so i don't know maybe do they no i don't think they always like when you first build them come with food or anything but man how shitty is that i missed by that much i found out about this radius thing after i I built it all but it does cover uh, both barns and that's why 
put another one or another two there that's gonna cover here and I don't know we'll see maybe something else now what I could do here and it would be a pain in the ass but I could do it is extend this fence out you know just enough so I could get I could even just do like a little box kind of thing here and get these feeders within the range I might have to do something like that because other than adding or I mean I can once I start rolling in money it won't matter too much I could put another feeder back there and a well and it would be kind of overkill but I mean who really cares <clears throat> so I could put this like right here that sh doesn't seem like the middle while well, it should be let me stand right between these two things. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, about six, I think. I think this is the middle right here. Yeah, that looks, that looks centered. Maybe like right there. And then we'll throw this sucker. Of course, these aren't going to be built yet, but we'll keep them in mind. Right about here. Actually, I'd like it as close to that as I can get it. But then I gotta spin it. Okay. I mean, that's not bad, right? All right, that, that might be a thing. All right, so obviously you can also do this with the, uh, the water. And you'll see the water actually, yeah. See, the water I wouldn't have been able to do anyway, so the water doesn't go quite as far. But it does cover our two, our two barns here. Alright, so on to... Oh, shit. So on to what I learned. And of course, would it have been smarter to watch this after episode two? Before making such a fool of myself and not knowing what the hell I'm doing, sure. <laughs> but, uh, I like to see if I can figure it out on my own. Okay, um, we had a can of milk, right? Okay, so everybody out here is taken care of. Now. We're not gonna mess with meat today, but we're gonna mess with cheese. And, wait, this goes here. You'll notice right away, that cheese thing was in my way, this thing. Remember we put two? Uh, I actually built it and then knocked it down because um, I don't think it's very useful. It's a, it's a cheese preserving bin by its title. Preserving bin for cheese. Used for cheese. Now, it says used for cheese production. But I don't think so. I think it's just used... For preservation. But I don't know. We'll, we'll look into that again after. Um, cheese. Let's get to the cheese. First of all, let, let me get my blue curd. Not curd. My blue mold yeah, weather's quite nippy out there close the door we're nice and chill in our little house here okay so you'll see I bought some things I bought a few pots I bought an extra cooler I bought some buckets uh, and I think I bought an extra milk thing. 
So what you have to do, let's, there's a whole bunch of different things. Look at this. Okay. So these are the different kinds of cheeses you can make. Those are actually different. You can't see what kind they are without using a cooler. Where'd I put the cooler I bought? I just looked at it. Okay, so there's, I think I did them in order. This is the most basic. All right, that's just cheese. You get that by boiling milk, which I'll show you how to do that in a minute, and that's it. Then it becomes cheese, okay? Then you have, I may as well just, uh, cheese with white mold. So that's the milk mixed with this, it's pink, but this white mold. And then of course, you have cheese with blue mold. Okay, and these are in in order of value as well. You're gonna get the cheapest for that, then that, then that, then that, all the way up to that. Um, this one is the, okay, cheese egg white mold. So this is the cheese with white mold, plus you add an egg. Now that's, I already did some price comparisons. This adds, when you add an egg to a recipe, it adds $10 in value. So the eggs are worth $6, so it's just good to stick them uh, in something, whether it be sausage, which you can do, we'll get to that uh, next episode, actually, um, or the cheese. So that's it, and this is the the absolute best one you can get, the blue egg cheese mold. So as a matter of fact, let's take a ride over to this store, and I'll show you the price differences on these. And man, am I really thinking about making some tutorials for this game once I know it well. Because aside from this girl, and damn it, I should have wrote her YouTube channel down. Um, I'll remember it and, and mark it in the next one. She's literally the only one I could find that's doing any kind of... And it's not really instructional videos, it's like her playthroughs, but she labels them nice. So I was able to find this cooking one. Um, and even some of the comments in her really in her um on her videos made mention of the fact that it's just so hard to find videos on this damn game all right where am i going i guess no one likes it i don't know what i like so much about it but i do okay so oh look there's actually a multiplier on the blue mold now so that's not going to give us an accurate price of what we're always going to get on it. So let's see how much uh, skewed that is now. So look at that. Just on that cheese, those six pieces of cheese, minus the 45 bucks I'm getting for that random three meat. Look at that money I'm making. So this is really like game changer here. Um, cheese blue mold, 297 Cheese egg blue. Oh, I wonder. I think I might have got the multiplier on both of these. The one with the egg and the one without the egg. Because those are crazy prices. Uh, which means we should go make a bunch of blue mold cheese today. And come back and sell it. So there you go. That's what we're making. Um, I happen to have two packages which will make us ten. Should I get another package? I think we should go get another package. I think I have room to make 15, if I remember. I mean, at least 15. It's so funny. I don't know if I said this. I think I said it while I was recording. I don't know if I said it or I was thinking it. But I couldn't figure out why, and I didn't think it would be a thing, why egg would go in cheese. And I still don't get it, but okay. I get it in the in the meatballs, because that kind of makes like a meatloaf kind of thing. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, we got some money here. Let me see something. 
Yeah, I mean, it'll be all of it, but I just filled up the granary, so it might be worth it. Which one should I get first? I guess this one first. Ah, we're making tons of money, right? Let's buy a toy. Check out. Bang. All right, so we'll grab our new toy here. Our electric meat grinder. We're jumping right over the manual one. Grab our blue mold. All right. Killed me a deer on the way home. Uh, and I got to thinking I might be at the point where I don't really have to worry about shooting deer anymore. Now. Where is this thing going to go? I think up on this counter somewhere would be cool. Which way does it come out? I forget. Why does that not look centered? I think it comes out this way, right? Oh, do I not need a pot here? Do I not need a pot with this? I don't remember now. Good thing I killed a deer. Hmm. Why is it not working? Oh, you do need a, you do need a pot for it. Maybe it's this way. Why? Can I not keep it on here? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, wow. But I can keep it here. I mean, that's fine. I guess it's going to go here. No. <laughs> oh, maybe I got to turn it around now. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Okay, it took me an hour, but... <laughs> well, not an hour, but... Oh, is there something in there? It looks like there's something in there. I think it was bad. Okay, I found a spot where I could put it, so we're going to leave it there for now. Um, should work now. Nope, it's still not working. There is something happening in my world that I don't like. I don't really get what's going on, to be honest with you. I reloaded the game and everything. Um, I'm just not going to worry about it for now. I wasn't planning on doing sausage today anyway. But I've used that machine before. We've got it in our last episode. No, no not the last episode, but one of the episodes. And it's just... Uh, it's really making no sense to me. I put it every different place I could think of. And it's not working, so I'll mess with that after this. Um, cheese. Let's get back to the cheese. So we're going to make all blue cheese. That's what we'll call it, I guess. White cheese and blue cheese. And it's very simple. You grab your milk. You fill up the pots with milk. Now they take five each, which I've recently learned. Um, right? Because now that... Wait. Those took seven each. So how did I get an odd number, an odd amount of milk in my can at one time? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so now we're going to add the blue stuff. Okay. Uh, and we're also going to add an egg. Oh, shit. We've got to go get some more eggs. Look at the egg. <laughs> it's so funny. All right. Um, yeah, we got to go get some more eggs. I hope we have enough. Uh, and then we're going to cook them. 
Oh, it wasn't on the thing right. Okay, so now they're going to cook. We're going to go grab some eggs. It, it cooks quick. Boy, that grinder thing is bothering me. There we go. Jackpot. You guys got to get busy. Come on. Wow. Big fail. All right, back to the kitchen. I like the way that tent looks outside this house. That worked out okay. Again, that tent can't be removed, so we kind of built the house around it. Okay, so that's ready. So now what we want to do is take that product and bring it in here and put it on these things. You can see I got some cooking already. And geez, just about going to be ready. Oh, they're just finishing now. Okay. Um, I'll worry about that in a minute. Where's the light in here? Oh, shit. Did I put the, the meat things? Oh, I did. Okay. <laughs> nice. It's probably one in here, too, right? Yeah, there's a light right there, so where's the switch? I hope I didn't hide it, which I probably did. Okay. We're not even going to sleep tonight. We're going to live in our lighted room. Nothing over here. No other switch. Oh, light the candle. Thought I just saw something. What did I see? Oh, this. Um... That's it. There's no. There's got to be some more light here, right? Oh well. This meat doesn't belong on the floor either. Food safety. All right. What are we doing? Let's grab this. Oh jeez. All right. You know what? We're gonna make it. Yeah. We're gonna make it daytime. <laughs> Wait. That didn't work. Are you kidding? Is there another one? Wow. Okay, I'm just going to throw that right there. Uh, and we're going to go get us some daylight. I think all the lights will turn off for us. Mercifully. Let's sleep in the kids' room. Let's take a little nap. Okay. Back to work. And all the lights are still on. But they will be off when I reload the game. So I'm not going to go messing with that now. So, we just continue the process. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And boom. Boom. This is a little glitch. You got to pick it up and put it down every time. But not really a big deal. So, we'll let that cook. And while that's cooking, let's go grab that cooler we got. We're going to need a couple of coolers for this. Oh, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, oops. Yeah, good job. Alright, so we can take these and put them away. That's a lot of money right there. Okay, these are done, I just heard. Grab that. And start building these up. See how much milk I have. We'll actually uh, go see if we could grab some more while this next batch is cooking. Oh, that's not what I wanted.
wanted to go milk the cows, right? What's up, little piggies? All right, come on, baby. This is such an easier procedure now that I don't have to worry about that damn door. I don't know why I ever thought I had to, but I don't. All right, as a matter of fact, we'll come back with a full can here. Come here, you. All right, see, I'm gonna have more. She's got more to give. And I don't have another can in here. You know what, I'm just gonna let her go for now. I feel like that's mean leaving that on her. And I'll work it all out with... Actually... I don't get that. Where would the unevenness come from? They give you... I think they give you 14 each one. No. I don't know how much they give you each one. Anyway. Put that there. This one's full, right? Yep. Okay. Let's grab the cheese. Actually, it's not cheese yet, is it? It's like curd or something like that. All right, nothing in there. Um, ah, oh, what are you doing, Murph? Where did I put it? Right, so looks like we're gonna have enough eggs to do all these, just about. God, this is annoying. Oh, okay. I didn't have to change it that time. It did work. All right, so what do I got left in eggs? I got four, and I got lots of that stuff left, so probably not gonna have enough eggs. I think this stuff is not gonna be done by the end of today and that kind of sucks I didn't think of that it takes a long time so that means oh nice it's not doing that anymore that means um the smart thing to do would be wait so that's another multiplier the cheaty thing to do, which I remember her mentioning again, I am gonna get her name uh, and plug her, but is if you reload your game, I believe the multipliers change every time. But we'll see how long this takes. This is a good test because it's nice and early in the morning. Um, there's no way I could get any more than this. Well, I guess I could. Oh, actually, this is the second day, right? We already slept. All right, now that filled both of them up. Okay, it's empty. Seven it had in it, though. It only had seven, and it filled both of those. Is that telling me it only takes three and a half each? I don't know. Anyway, any any eggs by chance? Let me go to that other coop. I don't know why they're not laying eggs. Or not as frequently, I should say. Come on, just give me two. I'll take two. Ah, there you go. Yeah, you're talking. Can I get two more? All right. I overstepped my bounds, didn't I? Not mad at you. Oh, there's one. And you know what? Usually, you could find a rando out here somewhere. There we go. Thank you very much. That's enough for two more batches. And that's just about all of them. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to snake out one more egg. 
to get that last package of blue going. So those packages aren't cheap, but you see they're well worth it. Um, they cost, what was it, 225 or 250 something like that. Uh, but you get five uses out of it. And you could get, if you got a sale, up to 270 bucks each for them. But even without a sale, I know you get over 100 I almost broke that egg. I would have been real mad at this point. <laughs> um, over 100 so that's 500 at that. And I think it's like 130 140 Maybe even 160 with the eggs. Uh, without a sale. So obviously well worth it. Okay, we got three left and I got two eggs. That's funny. We'll find one more egg, I'm sure. We didn't check the other pen for a rando. All right, and this is a pretty cheesy episode, huh? Hit <laughs> it, get it? I think I found my title. Now, you can also boil water. I don't remember what she did that for. I think it was something to do with the meat, though. All right, so I got one more mold left. Let's see if I can grab one more egg. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna help me out with an egg, right? Try over here first. There, I see one already. And I see another one there, but I'll leave that there in case it becomes a chicken. I can't tell you how many times I, I fill up my basket with eggs and I put it down, and I go do something else for a while. And when I come back, there's like a chick roaming around my kitchen here. It's kind of cute. All right, almost done. That was pretty, pretty productive. And you see, very easy, right? Which I like, they don't make it too complicated. They allow you to do varieties of things. That'll be the last one, and only seven gallons left. You know what we'll do with that? We may as well. I mean, it's sitting here. We'll make some pink one. I'm not going out for another egg. I'll just make that. And then we got three empty cans. That worked out really well. So it's about noon. Um, and the first one I put down is only at about 20%. So we got a while to wait on those. Um, I guess I'll end up... I should have used that one. I guess I'll end up using those just to use them. But I can't see myself using them anymore because... There's no point. I guess it's more like beginner stuff but i mean you could jump to the blue one so fast why would you ever need the white cheese mold i don't know i didn't know all right so i guess i can mess around with this thing okay man that took a long time so i fiddled around with the grinder and everything the rest of the day you just saw uh, and all this day, I've just been waiting for this cheese to finish. By the way, I think I... <laughs> I was probably being an idiot. I don't think you can do deer meat in there, so... Um, I have to wait till I execute a pig. I'm pretty sure that's, that's the problem I've been having. But here's all our cheese. I should actually turn a light on in here. Oh, I thought we'd have a better view of it to see what they they all look the same actually well we did use a lot of the blue cheese right and uh, i did check it's still on sale today so i want to get there as soon as we can oh that's it for that one uh, and we should make a bunch of money with this 
Now, eggs are also on sale. I say on sale. They're, they're paying us more for it, so... Um, I don't know how much of a sale that is for them. But, uh, and you get a 1.6 multiplier on the eggs, but even with that, I figure if you get uh, 6 for an egg, 1.6 would be what? Uh, 9 point something or whatever? It wouldn't be quite 10. Oh, shit. And 10 is what the eggs add to all the recipes, so that's not even worth selling those. So we're just gonna go ahead and sell this cheese we got. It's taken so long, I've got another almost two cans of milk. Milked out already. The, the middle pigs are about ready to be slaughtered. So I'll have an episode to come right after this. Uh, we will do the meat stuff. Let's go ahead and get to the store. I hope we make it in time. We will. But I don't even know if they close. Well, they, they do have hours on their door. So they probably do. I would think it'd be 10 o'clock, right? That's when we have to sleep. Oh shit, I hope we make it. weather. We've got eight minutes. Alright, we're in. See, blue cheese mold eggs. Let's get it sold. Six thousand dollars, bro! Look at that! I'm selling it before the store closes. Six thousand dollars! Alright, well cheese is the way to go. And that seems like a great way to end this episode. I don't know how long it is, because it's in like three or four different parts, but we certainly got cheesy. Six thousand dollars! Alright, well we're gonna be ready to do a meat episode next, so with that said, as always, thanks for watching guys, and come back if you wanna see us make some some egg-filled sausages and shit. <laughs> See ya.